Now there could be a number of reasons why your website isn't showing up on Google, but it's most likely due to one specific factor that Google has deemed to be supremely important, which is incoming backlinks. So I'm going to show you how to check the status of your backlinks for free so that you can determine if that's the issue or not. First of all, if you just set up your website, it's going to take some time to establish some authority and get some, some established rankings within search engines. And it usually takes anywhere from three to six months before you'll start to climb up the organic search rankings and actually start to see your website showing up. So if you just set your website up, you're going to need to give it some time to let Google index it and figure out where it wants to place the website before you can really determine what's going on with the website anyways. But before we jump into things, it's important to figure out what other companies are already ranking in Google for whatever keywords that you're going to target. The websites that are appearing at the top of the search results are there for a reason. Google actually sees them as being the best fit for the given search query. So you can take a look at what they're doing to get an idea of what Google sees as being the right fit for a type of listing or page to show up in the organic search results near the top. So take the search term that you want your website to show up for in Google. For this example, I'm just going to use Denver Chiropractor. And then just enter it into Google and click search. And then you'll see some results pop up. Now you want to go ahead and just skip over these ads here because those aren't organic rankings. Same with this one here. And then you just want to find the top competitors within your niche. So these three just go ahead and right click and open the website in a new tab so open those three you can skip Yelp that's just a list of directories so it's not going to help you find the best organic websites as far as rankings are concerned so here's another website you can see Denver Colorado chiropractic.com so you'd open that one up so just open up the top three to five businesses that show up right here in the organic and in the organic map listings, whichever ones are at the top. And then I suggest writing those down so you know who your top competitors are and you can come back to those and reference them as we go along. So the next thing you want to do is pull up SEM Rush, and I'll put a link in the description where you can get a f signed up for a free account. And then once you are signed up for a free account, you just want to log in, go to the dashboard, and Take the URL of your own business, which for this example is just going to be Care Chiropractic. Enter it in. Make sure you don't have the HTTPS on the front or else it won't work correctly. And then just click the search button. Now you should see a page that looks just like this. And it's got a ton of information on here. You can see their organic search volume, their paid search traffic the number of backlinks they have, so 8,000 backlinks, whether or not they're using display advertising. And then this is the search volume trend for their website over time. So you can see it's been dropping and now it's starting to pick back up. Then you can also see the organic keywords that they're ranking for, the position it's in, the search volume, cost per click on Google, and the amount of traffic they're getting from each of those terms. So tons of information here, but the main thing you want to check out here is where it says backlinks. So just right click and open that in a new tab. Okay, so this is the backlink profile for our example business. And we can see here that the backlinks were increasing pretty steadily and then sort of plateaued increased again and now they're actually starting to fall and one of the main things Google looks at when it's determining where which business to rank in the top of the organic search results 
one of the biggest influencing factors is the backlink profile and Google knows that if a website is continuously getting backlinks on an ongoing basis it means people are talking about that business and that business is providing value on an ongoing basis so it knows that it's a good business uh, website to list at the top of the organic search results. So if you see that your backlinks are starting to drop off or you aren't getting any backlinks or you have no backlinks at all or there's any issues with the backlinks of the of your website then that's the first place you want to start. So just to give you some example this is the company that's ranking at the very top of the organic search results denvercoloradochiropractic.com and you can see their backlinks look a lot better so it's just been increasing over time and now it's increasing even faster so that's why they're ranking number one right now is because it it seems to Google that everyone's talking about this company they're the most popular they're the best one to work with and they haven't really been losing any backlinks so that's what this graph here shows the blue are the new backlinks and the orange down below are the ones that have been lost so you can see steadily increasing steadily increasing versus our example company where it's pretty sparse and it's kind of been falling off so that's why this one is down lower in the search results as compared to this example company that uh, doesn't even necessarily have as many backlinks but they've been getting more backlinks more consistently uh, recently. So for more information about improving your organic search rankings, just head on over to MissoulaSEOGeek.com. I'll provide a link in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.